Good morning from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Today we are heading into Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park. So super excited about that. And it's actually nice out. It's been raining like literally every day for the past week. But right now it's blue skies. We're hoping it'll hold up, but it's nice to finally have some sunshine. I'm gonna take advantage of that, go explore around and see what we can find. Let's go. Right, we made a quick stop at Jenny Lake here in Grand Teton National Park. This lake is breathtaking. Uh, just the mountains surrounding it, absolutely beautiful. Uh, super busy area, super crowded, but it was really crowded right around the visitor center, but if you come walk around the trail, like not even very far, you can get some really nice private views. So definitely recommend doing the trail. We wish we had more time to explore here, but uh, we gotta get to our campsite in Yellowstone National Park, which is about two hours away. Uh, so we just made a real quick stop, but uh, super beautiful. All right, we made it to our campsite. As you can tell by my clothes, it's a little chilly and cold. Uh, driving through Tetons was gorgeous. We had to go really quick though, so we could get here to Yellowstone. So we definitely want to go back and spend more time there. And we didn't really get to explore much of Yellowstone either. But we did pull over and saw this really cool canyon area. So that was cool. Uh, but we're here at the campsite. We just got showered. We're getting a campfire going. We're going to cook some dinner. And then we're going to get to bed early tonight because we have a long day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be one of the only days with good weather. So we're going to try to get as much done as we can. So we're going to wake up at like 4 a.m. and uh, head up to Lamar Valley, try to find some wildlife. And then from there, I'm going to kind of do the loop all around and hit up a bunch of the big sites such as Mammoth Hot Springs and Old Faithful and all that good stuff. So we're sitting here grilling and we look back behind our campsite and it looks like we can see some water through the woods back there. So uh, let's go see what we can find. It's so pretty, this bird's chirping. Oh, almost there. Uh, it's definitely water. Oh, this is looking pretty. Whoa. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Literally a two minute walk from our campsite. What a view. There's mountains out there in the distance. I love it here. The next day we woke up at 4 a.m. to begin our drive up to Lamar Valley. The two hour drive took us through darkness and fog, which was a little eerie, but also beautiful. Our plan for the day was to do a Yellowstone speed run, where we would attempt to visit and see as many major sites of Yellowstone as we could in one day. We decided to start with Lamar, even though it was two hours away, because early morning is one of the best times to view wildlife in the valley. We eventually reached our destination right after the sun came up, revealing a lush golden landscape teeming with life. Welcome to Lamar Valley. Located in the northeast corner of the park and covering approximately 70,000 acres sits Lamar Valley. This area is a hot spot for wildlife viewing and it's not uncommon to spot black bears, grizzly bears, wolves, and moose just to name a few. No matter what though, you are practically guaranteed to see lots of buffalo. We drove by a huge herd of bison which included lots of cute baby calves. 
We were also lucky enough to see several grizzly bears and black bears and even saw a couple of adorable black bear cubs. Seeing so much wildlife was the highlight of our trip and this is one of our favorite areas in all of Yellowstone. Early mornings are typically the best time to spot wildlife, but you're practically guaranteed to see some sort of wild animal any time of day. No matter what though, you do not want to pass this area up. Look at this bison. We're following him. We're playing follow the leader. We try to pass them, he'll like move over to the other side like he doesn't want us to pass. It's been like a mile following the bison. Look at this line behind us, it's just ridiculously long just because <laughs> we're waiting on the bison. Here we go, we're going around him. After getting held up by the bison, we were well into the day and still had lots to see, so we sped through the rest of the park. I plan to make a full Yellowstone travel guide video in the future, which will give more info about all of these top sites. But in the meantime, here's a quick video montage of some of our favorite spots. Ooh, it's smelling good in here. What you got cooking? 
Um, some vegetables, and then some tempeh, and I don't know, it came like, it's a teriyaki sauce with vegetables, vegetables and noodles. We bought it at the store, so it's easy, already pre-cut, and it's got the sauce and some noodles. And then the tempeh is going to be our protein. Also got some snacks, some hummus, cucumber, and some chips. Yummy. I decided we're eating in this pot, in this pan, because I don't want to do more dishes. <laughs> but there's dinner. Dang, that looks so good. Let's dig in, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm guessing mm. that means that's really good. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> that was so good. Mm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> mm. Oh, from Bridger Teton National Forest. We've been uh, staying here for three nights now. We found a gorgeous spot here amongst the mountains and the wildflowers. And uh, it's been really nice because up until now, since we left Florida pretty much, it's been nonstop go, go, go. Every day we're going somewhere new. Every night we're looking for a new place to sleep. And we've done a ton of cool stuff, but it's also been really hectic. So it's been nice to kind of settle down a little bit, stay in a spot more than one night, and just relax because we've been needing that. We've also been using it as a time to get caught up on editing because we've been way behind on video editing. And uh, yeah, that was much needed. And we've been using it just to kind of do some yoga and meditation and workout, all things that we have been neglecting with our busy schedule. So it's been super nice. I'll give you a quick tour. As you can see here is our van, a bunch of beautiful yellow wildflowers there. Uh, we got our setup over here. We got our yoga mats out and our chairs. We do have a little fire pit as well here. And this site's completely free, by the way. You're allowed to camp here for up to five days. We found it using the iOverlander app. And look at this view. You can't beat this for a free campsite. Yeah, you got some power lines running through, but just the view of the mountains out there is gorgeous. As you can see, there are a few other people parked here. Our neighbor right there has the cutest dog that keeps coming over. His name is Cochise, I believe it's called. And uh, yeah, he's super adorable. <laughs> uh, we got a solar panel set out. Uh, that helps keep everything charged and we've been doing really well. We're at like 90% battery right now. Uh, it's been nice and sunny, which helps. And we've been doing a lot of cooking and heating up the uh, diesel heater. And um, yeah, we've just been doing a lot of high energy consumption stuff. So we're really happy our batteries are holding up. Here's a quick tour in the van though. I don't know, it's messy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a little messy, but you know. It gets like that. Uh, I was doing some editing here earlier. I got to do some more later today. Uh, here's our messy van. We actually used the shower the other night, which was amazing with our hot water heater. We've been using the induction stove to cook a lot. We did some meal prepping the other night. Maybe I'll show you some of that. There's our bed. And yeah, that's about it. Beautiful view out there. It's hard to beat that. So we worked on some video editing for probably like four or five hours, I would say. Uh, we're at a good stopping point. There's still more to do, but we'll work on some tonight. But we're ready for a break, so we came out to do a little hiking. Uh, we're just heading down this road outside our campsite. There's uh, kind of some mountainous hill areas up here. We're going to go check out. And then uh, we found this really cool rock back the other way. Uh, the other day, we're going to go there probably at sunset tonight, climb up the rock, watch sunset from the top because that should be beautiful. But we haven't been this way yet, so we'll see what we can find. Ooh. 
So is it just me? Does this remind anyone else of like that rock tower from Lord of the Rings where Frodo got stabbed when they were on their way to Rivendell? It's like this big rock structure at the top of a hill. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Made it. And I didn't die. Made it to the top of the rock. It's gorgeous. Woo! You can see for miles, like a river running that way and snake mountains. River. It's called Snake River. Beautiful. Way over there is our van somewhere. Super off in the distance. All right, we're gonna get the drone out now, get some drone shots, and uh, just sit up here and enjoy this beautiful sunset. That was one amazing. Of, one of the most epic sunsets. Now we gotta hike back in the dark though. <laughs> but we got bear spray, so we should yeah. be good. <laughs> All right, we'll Just see you back case. at the campsite. <laughs> so we made it back to our van. Uh, it was a little sketchy coming down, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Totally worth the hike up for the sunset. Uh, part is gonna chill here, maybe do a little campfire, make some s'mores, and um, just get ready for bed. Normally we would take a shower because we're kind of stinky and sweaty, but uh, <laughs> we're just about out of water in the van, so we'll probably just do like a wet white bath tonight, and we're gonna try to go fill up some water somewhere tomorrow. But uh, mosquitoes are horrible here, by the way. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Stay wild. <laughs>